Hey, good morning, Zach. Yeah, it is a real big deal. That's what the sign says, at least outside Lucas Oil Stadium. Of course, we know that represents the Big Ten and the championship being held right here at Lucas Oil Stadium later tonight. But Indianapolis is no stranger to hosting big events like these. Some have called Indianapolis the convention capital of the country and the best place to host a sporting event. And with all the amenities so close to downtown, it's easy to see why the city has earned its big reputation. Some might even say now the return of all these in-person events which put the city on the map are helping fuel it post-pandemic into a period of recovery. Sports clearly has led its way forward down the field. The success of the Big Ten football championship will lead to other successes beyond the stadium. Continues to lead the way to really helping the hospitality industry and vice versa um, in terms of leading ourselves into some positive economic recovery. Indiana Restaurant and Lodging Association President and CEO Patrick Tam says Indy's playing host leads to most everyone benefiting in the process. The Big Ten Football Championship historically has been a, a great weekend for hotels. And also for restaurants. In the time without these marquee events, spots like Goodwood Brewing, located mere blocks away from the action, struggled. I personally would like to go back to, you know, the, the, the pre-pandemic, the numbers that we were, that downtown was doing. Staffing, shortages, and lack of supply have all taken their toll on tap, but they're ready all the same. Their business depends on it. We're doing okay on the shortages. Part of it, our companies are working with us and they're getting us, they can't get us a, uh, the exact product. They're getting something very similar for us. So we're working on that continuously, just like everybody else, but the, the staffing issues are we're all in the same boat. Our people really make the difference. That's who sells at the city of Indianapolis. That's who sells Hoosier hospitality. So whether you're rooting for Iowa or Michigan, Tam says that really doesn't matter, so long as you don't root for that other team. Uh, personally, as someone being born in Michigan, I'm great to see Michigan's there and not Ohio State. Personally, fan favorite of that action. But the um, and Iowa's fans uh, were here a couple years ago. Uh, they're crazy. Uh, we love them. Uh, so we love having those folks in the town. Seems like we all know an Ohio State Buckeyes fan out there. And really, it doesn't matter who you're rooting for this weekend as long as you're in the city enjoying it and supporting those local businesses. Now, we asked Tam and other leaders in the city about concerns over the new Omicron variant and if there could be any future restrictions to expect at restaurants or sporting events like Lucas Oil Stadium. And they said none that they know of right now. But if you feel uncomfortable in a situation like that, the best advice that they can give is to get vaccinated vaccinated beforehand. We're going to be reporting live all morning long here and throughout the day at Lucasville Stadium, so be sure to stay with us. I'm Justin Kolar reporting live in Indianapolis.